Now let's do part 3 of CSE numerical reasoning and this is more about ratio and proportion and number analogies. Number 21. If 200 is divided in the ratio of 1 to 5, what is the middle part? Para mas madali mong i-answer ito in less than like 3 to 5 seconds lang, 200, i-add mo ito, that is 8. 200 divided by 8 and that is 25. Paano ganun kadali 200 divided by 8? Ang 100 niya, kung i-divide mo ng 4, 25 yan, parang pera lang yan, 25. Tapos, 200 man siya, so 200 divided by 8, and that is 25. Ngayon, 200 divided by 8, 25. Itong 25, i-multiply mo ng 2, and that is 50. So, letter D. Again, dahan-dahanin natin. Ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 5. 200 is divided in this ratio. So, i-add natin yan, that is 8. So, itong 200, i-divide mo ng 8, the answer is 25. What is the middle part? Itong 2 man ang middle part. So, 25 times 2, and that is 50. So, the answer is letter D. 22. Three numbers are in ratio of 4, 3, 5. If the middle number is 24, what is the sum of the numbers? So, 4, 3, 5. The middle number is 24. 24 divided by 3 and that is 8. Itong 8 na to, yan yung i-multiply mo sa dalawa pang numbers. 4 times 8, that is 32. 5 times 8, and that is 40. So, i-add mo yung tatlo. Ito na yung tatlong numbers. Ito yung middle number na given na. So, i-add mo yan, and the answer is 696, letter D. Again, para mas lalong maintindihan. Three numbers are in ratio of 4, 3, 5. Ito yung middle number, yung 3. If the middle number is 24, so... Yung 24, i-divide mo lang sa 3. And that is 8. Yung 8 na yan, yan yung i-multiply mo sa 4 at saka sa 5. Given naman yung middle number na 24. Kaya, i-multiply mo siya, 32. Multiply mo rin dito, that is 40. I-add mo lang, yan na yung total. Letter D, 96. 23. Four numbers are in ratio of 2, 3, 4, 5. If their sum is 168, what are the four numbers? Solution number one. Tingnan ang choices. Five. Ang ma-divide ng five ay itong dalawa lang. So, cancel out na yan. Dito tayo sa una. Even numbers. 15 ay hindi even numbers. 24 ay even. So, the answer is letter D. So, madali lang. Another way is, i-add natin yan. So, let n be that number na hanapin natin para pang multiply nito mga numbers na ito. So, 3n plus 4n plus 5n equals 168. Tapos, uh, i-add mo itong mga like terms na to. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And that is 14n. Then, Equals 168. Para ma-isolate si N dyan, mag-divide tayo ng 14 to both sides or itong 14 na to, i-transfer natin sa kabila. Maging, uh, ma-divide mag -divide na siya sa 168. 168 divided by 14 and that is 12. So, itong 12 na ito, yan yung pang-multiply natin. So, i-substitute natin itong N is equals to 12. So, 2 times 12 equals 24. 3 times 12, and that is 36. 4 times 12, and that is 48. 5 times 12, and that is 60. So, ito na yung mga numbers. 24, 36, 48, and 60. Number 24. The ratio of boys... To girls in the class is 3 is to 4. There are 42 students in the class. How many are boys? 
boys is two girls, three is two, four. There are 44, so ganito lang yan, 3n plus 4n equals 42. I-add up mo yan, 7n equals 42. So, n is equals to 42 divided by 7, and that is 6. Itong 6 na to, yan yung, uh, i-substitute natin dito, yan yung i-multiply natin. Ang tanong is, how many are boys? Ito yung boys, 3. So, 3 times 6, that is 18. So, the answer is letter C, 18. Another way, ganito ang gagawin natin. Itong ratio, i-add mo yan, 3 plus 4, and that is 7. Itong 42, i-divide mo ng 7, and you have 6. Ang tanong is, how many are boys? Ang ratio is, boys is to girls. Boys is to girls. 3 is to 4. So, ito yung boys. So, itong 6, i-multiply mo lang ng 3. 6 times 3, and that is 18. So, letter C. Number 25. A car is traveling at an average speed of 60 km per hour. What is the total distance if traveled after 5 hours? Total of distance. So, ang per hour naman niya ay 60. I-multiply mo lang si 60 at itong 5 and that is 300. So, the answer is letter A. Para mas lalong maintindihan, ulitin ko. Given na ang 60 km per hour, kada oras ba, 60 km, lima man ka oras, multiply mo lang siya ng 5 hours. So, the answer is 300. Another way yung sinasabing rate, ang kilometer, nandito na ang formula, ang kilometer ay yan yung distance per hour, yan yung time. Hanapin natin yung distance. So, i-transpose natin si time dito. That is, R rate, tapos si times, times time, tapos si distance. Ang rate ay 60. I-multiply mo sa time na 5, yan na yung distance. 300. 26. The ratio of red, green, and blue balls in a box is 2, 3, 1. If there are 36 balls in the box, how many green balls are there? So, ito si red, green, blue. Ratio niya is 2, 3, 1. If there are 36 lahat, how many, are, how many green balls are there? 36. Ang gagawin mo ay i-add mo lang siya. 2 plus 3 plus 1 and that is... 6. 36 divided by 6 equals 6. Green. Ito, ang i-multiply mo ng 6 and the answer is 18. Letter A. Another way. 2N plus 3N plus 1N equals 36. So, i-add mo siya. That is 6N equals 36. So, n equals 36 divided by 6, and that is 6. So, ito, substitute mo yung n. Ang blue, ang green pala, itong green nasa middle. So, ito, n is equals to 6. So, 3 times 6 is equals to 18. So, letter A. 27. 1 is to 5 as 5 is to what? Kung 1 is to 5, nag-multiply tayo ng 5, kaya naging 5 siya. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa... Kabila, 5 times 5 equals 25. Another way, 1 is to 5 equals 5 is to let n be that number. So, I multiply natin yan and that is 25 equals 1n. So, 1 lang naman yan. 25 divided by 1 is 25 lang din. So, the answer is 25. Letter B. Number 28. Point 0.4 is 2.8. As 1.23 is 2 what? Number analogy tayo. Kung anong meron dito, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa tabila. Point 0.4 naging point 0.5. Naging, ang point 0.4 naging point 0.8. That means nag-multiply na tayo ng 2. Point 0.4 times 2, that is point 
So, 1.23, i-multiply din natin ng 2, and that is 2.46. So, the answer is letter A. Another way is, is 2.8 equals 1.23, and let N be that number. Itong dalawa, i-multiply lang natin yan. So, 0 0.8 times 1.23 equals 0.4 N. So, multiply lang natin yan and that is 0.984. So, 0.984 divided by 0.4 and that is our N. So, the answer is 2.46 letter A. Number 29. One half is to three fourth as five over six is to what? So bali one half naging three fourth as five six naging yan ang hanapin natin. Number one. Solution number one. Si one half para maging three fourth yan, i multiply natin ng three over two. Kaya three, one times three equals three, two times two equals four. Kaya naging three fourth. Yan din ang gagawin natin dito sa isa. Ito rin ang i-multiply natin ng 5 over 6 times 3 over 2. So, i-multiply natin 5 times 3, that is 15. 5 times 2, and that is 12. Itong 15 over 12, improper fraction to. Gawin natin mix. And this is 15 divided by 12. 1 and 3, 12. Bago ang lahat, tindihin mo muna ito. Ito yung numerator, ito yung denominator. So, i-multiply natin yan, 15 divided by 12, and that is 1. 1 times 12, 12. 15 minus 12, 3. So, ito yung gawin natin, numerator. Ito naman si denominator. Tapos, ito na yung whole number. Si 1, 3 and 12, pwede pa yun natin malist yung 3 over 12, which is, ang greatest common factor niya ay 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, ang answer dito ay 1 and 1 fourth, letter C. Another way, 1 and 1 half is to 3 and 3 fourth equals 5, 6 is to let n be that number or fraction. Ito, i-multiply natin. That is, numerator to numerator, 15 over 24 equals 1 half n. So, para ma-isolate si n dyan, i-multiply natin sa kabila. Para shortcut, pwede na natin mag 15 over 24 times 2 over 1. Binaliktad na natin. Para mas lalong maintindihan, ganito yan. 15 over 24 divided by 1 half. Sa division ng fraction, ito kopyahin lang natin 15 over 24 at saka ang division maging multiplication at itong divisor ang reciprocal niya. Kaya, naging 2 over 1. So, ngayon pwede na natin siyang uh, i-multiply uh, 15 times 2 that is 30 24 times 1 and that is 24 itong 30 over 24 pariho lang yan sa 15 over 12 15 over 12 15 over 12 and that is 1 and 3 12 or 1 and 1 fourth. Kung ito naman, that is equivalent to 1 and 6 over 24. Ang greatest common factor nito ay 6. So, 1 and 6 divided by 6 is 1. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So, the answer is 1 and 1 fourth C. Number 30. 5 cube is to 125 as 6 cube is to what? 5 cubed, that is 5 times 5 times 5, that is equals to 125. Number analogy tayo. So, bali, itong 5 cubed, equivalent lang siya ng 125. 
So, hanapin lang natin itong 6 cubed. 6 times 6 times 6. And that is 216. So, ang answer ay letter B. Para mas lalo lang maintindihan, uh, ulitin ko lang. Ito yung given. Bali, 5 to the third power is to 125. Anong relasyon ng dalawa? Itong 5 to the third power, ito yon 5 times 5 times 5. Tapos, yung answer niya, ang product niya is 125. Meaning, yung 5 to the third power is equivalent to 125. So, hanapan lang natin ng equivalent itong 6 to the third power, which is 216. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. Kaya, letter B.